Um, this is a protocol designed for disease reversal, the fastest possible disease reversal that a person can have, because all of the components of the protocol are designed to optimize cellular repair and your anti-inflammatory immune function, okay? My 84-year-old dad's going through end-stage kidney failure, dialysis three times a week. Any suggestion for a diet? So one of the most remarkable things that I've gotten to do, and I saw there's a bunch of kidney questions, so I'll answer them together. Um, some of you may have read that I, I published a, a case series in reversing end-stage kidney failure um, years ago. And since then, and even before I published it, I've gotten to work with many, many people with kidney failure um, because I don't know of any other protocol that actually... Uh, significantly and consistently reverses kidney failure. So when you're looking at kidney failure, there's some things you have to consider, okay? One is that kidneys that have been in failure for many years often have some permanent damage, right? You're gonna get scar tissue. They call it sclerosis or sclerotic tissue, but it's scar tissue, right? So scar tissue never works like regular tissue. Maybe you have a scar on your skin and you know it doesn't bend and stretch and look the same as the rest of your skin. So um, so there, there is a good chance for someone who's had kidney failure for a long time that they're never gonna get back to normal kidney function. But what I have found and consistently been able to repeat and show again is that usually the kidneys have much greater ability to heal than is recognized and even when someone's in kidney failure, that the inflamed parts of the kidney that are not functional, if the inflammation comes down, will become functional again. So for example, in my last rapid recovery group, uh, there was someone in the group on dialysis and she had, you know, and I really like to do rapid recovery with people with kidney failure because we have to watch them closely because once your kidneys are failing, you can no longer regulate potassium and sodium, your electrolytes, your water intake, everything has to be watched closely. So for this lady, she's in dialysis. And so we had to make adjustments, you know, where she was having her doctor run uh, the lab tests every week. And then she would show me where she was. And so for the first couple of weeks, we had to make adjustments to make sure that it was the right amount of potassium and water that she could handle without becoming low sodium or anything like that. So once we got it down, right, and even when she was still, we were still working on it, her kidney function was going up, her GFR was going up. Her GFR went up dramatically. Her creatinine came down a couple points, with, even within the six weeks. And very exciting, in the three-week mark, she started being able to urinate again on her own. She hadn't been able to do that. She could not urinate on her own when she came into the group. And if she wanted to urinate, she'd have to take a diuretic and could get a little tiny bit out. On her own, in the group, halfway through, she was able to urinate on her own, had to pee. She, and she measured it and it was like three and a half cups of urine came out and she was urinating from then on. So it is really remarkable and, uh, and very exciting to be able to help people come off the transplant list, to be able to come off dialysis. Now she's gonna keep going because six weeks is an itty bitty period of time compared to how long she's been sick. And we have to see how far up we can get her kidney function. So we're gonna keep going until her kidney function plateaus. Who knows how far that will be, but she's very, very excited um, because now the countdown to the transplant has been slowed down. People's organs are not damaged forever necessarily. Um, this is a protocol designed for disease reversal, the fastest possible disease reversal that a person can have because all of the components of the protocol are designed to optimize cellular repair and your anti-inflammatory immune function, okay? So the protocol is extremely effective, especially when done alone, and especially when done alone with a lot of support, sleep, mindset, happiness, all that kind of stuff that we include in that. Um, so it's really, really exciting to see people able to breathe again, people able to urinate again.